everybody. Don't I sound sexy? <laughs> you got Mojo's attention. <laughs> I sound like a sexy cat. <laughs> so Freckles is giving me the the why look. Why? I don't understand. Nobody's feeling good. Yeah, we're all feeling kind of bleh today. But <coughs> I'm going to the doctors today. I figure after three days of feeling like this and nothing helping, I better go get checked. Yep. So, I'm sitting here trying to respond to some comments since I haven't touched my computer in three days either. Better get on top of that. Yep. And, uh, gonna try and do some straightening up of the house and put some Halloween decorations away. Well, I'll do that. Jay has got this cold, and now they're blaming me for giving him my cold. <laughs> and I think he was the carrier and he gave it to me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. That's right, Jay. <laughs> you infected me. I'm going to put a big sign on the door that says, Infected Inside. <laughs> big red X. <laughs> yes. Don't open, Infected Inside. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> I'm going to get off my butt. I'm not sick. Want to kiss? <laughs> you never make me sick for some reason. You make everybody else sick. So, But when I'm sick, I'll give it to you. But when you're sick, you never give it to me. Well, I have no immune system. You will, well, and you're immune to me. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you're immune to me. So I'm just a carrier, right? So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Typhoid Kevin. So I'm just going to start cleaning. It's getting cold, by the way, here. So get to work, mister. Yes, I'll get. crack the whip. Get me the whip. And that's around 2.30. We're going to take off, take uh, Val to the doctor. Hopefully this won't take all day like it usually does. Hey, honey, guess what? Yes, dear. It's 72 degrees in Weir. Yes. I think that's a nice temperature, don't you? Uh-huh. Considering the fact that it's um, only 66 here in Corona. Excuse me. How many times do I have to tell you, you did not finish your typing classes? <laughs> Do you want to finish your typing classes? I does, think, that, does that mean no? I think... <laughs> does that mean you just want to do some more loving? That's what she you wants. Want to do some more loving up on mommy. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think, you know, it's a little warmer in wear today. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So, um... Okay. Maybe we should go to wear. I'll put you on the bus. I'll, I'll order a golf cart. Lucy, one golf cart coming up, please. <laughs> okay, it's uh, Thursday, Thursday morning still. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. I haven't been outside in like uh, two days. And um, I feel like a mushroom right now. But it's a beautiful day out here. Crazy nice. It's only about 66 degrees. It's nice, nice and warm out in the sun. It's a little warmer. And I need to get some stuff done out here. And we're still trying to put away Halloween. It's gonna take a while because we're still busy and Val's not well. So we'll keep working at it though. Okay, everybody. So we're on our way to the doctor, but not for the same reason. Um, Val's actually feeling better. So uh, we canceled her doctor's appointment but she fell so I'm gonna let her tell you what she did 
I was feeling better so I decided to get up and start packing up some Halloween stuff and of course I wasn't paying much attention to what I was doing and I tripped over a box of Halloween stuff and I kind of went down <clears throat> on one side and I went down with a fist instead of flat handed and I went down on my knuckle. Pretty. So we're going to urgent care to see if she broke it. I can't move these two fingers. So. That don't look good. I may be coming home in a cast. Looks like a bee sting. So do you, Did you think fall on a bee? Do you think it's broken or no? I thought it was, yeah. So everybody, my hand is broken. Not quite sure how everything's going to happen because of this little opening here. Um, I don't know what that means, but they had to let orthopedic know that there's an opening. Yeah, that's what they and think is your bone poked a hole through your hand. Yeah. Because there's a little bone that is like sticking out mm -hmm. and it's going to have to be set and all that kind of fun and stuff. But there's going to be a cast on my arm. I don't know when. But if you want to send family appropriate stickers, since people aren't going to be able to sign my cast, send stickers. And I'll put stickers all over my cast for you guys. Put it on your head. Hey. No stickers on my head, only on my cast. Okay, sure they won't put a cast on your head? I didn't hit my head. Are you sure? No, I didn't <laughs> hit my head. <laughs> Just broke my hand. Fun. Somebody's got to come pack away all our Halloween decorations and clean my house well, now. I can do it. But you're going to have to accept how I do it. And that's the problem. I would have done it yesterday, but you want things put away your way. I don't care so much how they're put away, but when it comes to putting things back out, I will try and do that one-handed. Alright. With help. Yes, dear. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, everybody. So, put your hand up. Supposed to keep her hand up. <laughs> we're not going to be doing shout outs again tonight. And we're not going to be doing a nibbling with the neighbors tonight. And I think we have a pretty good reason not to. I have a broken hand. And I'm in pain. Well, I'm not in pain right now because I'm on pain medication. But I was in pain. They didn't give me any pain meds when we got to urgent care. And they sent me for an x-ray. And the x-ray technician decided she was going to straighten my fingers out. And well, I screamed and cried. Didn't get any of that on videotape, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> So then I went back to urgent care and they brought me into a room and the doctor comes in and says, so what's going on? And I said, I'm in pain. And he said, what happened? And I told him what happened. He said, I don't want the Reader's Digest version. I just want the short version. I said, okay, I fell in, on my hand and I broke my hand or, and I hurt my hand. I said, is it broken? And he started telling me this long story. I said, I don't want the Reader's Digest story. Is my hand broken? <laughs> and he says, yes, it is. And he showed me the x-rays. And I broke the fourth... Fourth, fourth metacarpal. Fourth metacarpal. And that's this bone right here. And her little finger below the finger. Fourth metacarpal. Pretty and good. She broke it pretty good, too. It's splintered. And there's a puncture wound in the knuckle, so they think that it may have 
comes through the, the like, skin. They call that a compound fracture for some reason. Yeah. So. so they sent me to orthopedics. And orthopedics did not know that I was not on any pain medication. So they put a temporary cast on it. I go back on the 20th to see if I have to have surgery. But the gentleman who was putting my cast on <clears throat> was very nice. He put my cast on and then in walks the orthopedic doctor and she starts talking to me and she says, can I see your arm? And I should, you know, move my arm closer to her. And she starts taking my fingers and starts going like this to them and starts bending them in all different directions so that they ended up like this. Meanwhile, I am on no medications. I am screaming, I am crying, I am slamming my feet. <clears throat> and then I started biting on Kevin's hand and she said, Hey, wait till you get home for that. So she was joking around and everything. Meanwhile, I was crying because I was in so much pain. So I was in a lot of pain. So Kevin went and got me my pain meds. And now I am no longer in pain. And all of this because I decided to start putting away Halloween decorations today. Okay. So it's been an interesting day. Okay, guys, I'm supposed to finish it off. So, if you enjoyed hanging out with us today, I don't know everything we did except for the fact that we ended up in urgent care and I was in pain, and I'm no longer in pain, so... Stop swinging that arm around. If you enjoyed hanging out with us today, please give us a great big thumbs up. If you're not in a cast. Thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please press that little red subscribe button down below and join our community because things like this happen to me all the time and share this video with your family and friends because I'm an expert at testing gravity and gravity is working very well today everybody so nobody has to worry about floating off into space because gravity is working I checked personally you're all good so we We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye. So she just got her hand put in a, it's not a cast, but this is, this is exactly why she's in a cast. I cannot get her to sit down. It's almost done.